Hi guys and welcome back to another fly fishing video. Well, I'm here at Rutland Water on opening day. I could hardly sleep last night. I was here at Sparrows Fart and I've seen the church all lit up, which was a sight to see. Uh, already, even at that early hour, there was bank anglers starting to tackle up and wander up and down the banks. I'm lucky today I've got a boat. So what I'm going to hope to cover is early season tactics from a boat. So without further ado, let's get into it. Despite what might seem quite pleasant conditions now, the wind is due to get up a little later, so I've got to really make the most of this quite calm start. Now the water's crystal clear, but it will still be very cold for this time of year. So my opening gambit is going to be a DI-7 and a single booby. It's generally what I start with every year this early in the season, and it's generally effective. Let's see how it does for me today. background here a few of the local boys have turned up early they've got the old barbecue out and they're cooking up bacon butties ready for the opening day they're having a bit of banter and a bit of a catch up and it's good to listen in on the laps well i'm out on the water now i've come into church bay it's extremely sheltered here and uh, even though the wind's due to gust up to 30 miles an hour today, I should be safe enough in the Normanton Church Bay and up the Normanton Bank for that matter. I've been warned off by the shop that I'm not allowed to sort of leave the bank um, due to the wind and I am out on my own, which is fine. I don't intend to be out here long. I just wanted to take a little bit of time before I have my first cast just to take it all in. The older I get, the more I appreciate days like this. And look at it, it's absolutely stunning. Well, that's the first cast on Rutland Water for this year, and I'm fairly sure it's not going to be my last. So, despite uh, appearances, the water is absolutely freezing. So I suspect the fish are going to be fairly well down and I'm going to fish fairly slowly to see if I can get a reaction early on. There's already a few ang anglers in Church Bay and I'm not sure how they're doing at the moment. I haven't seen anyone catch a fish yet, but it's early days. Well, I've had a couple of drifts now and they've not been fruitless. So each drift, just as I've approached boy 14, I'm getting fish following. Now, what does that mean? Uh, they're not taking even when I hang my flies. So there's something wrong. Now, I can only think that I'm fishing too deep and the fish are seeing the fly very late on and coming to have a look just at the end of the retrieve or they just don't like the pattern, but I find it hard to believe they don't like the candy floss booby. So I'm going to persevere. I've changed to a DI-5 sweep, and what that'll do is bring the fly through the water in a different profile, and I'll be able to hang better with the sweep line. So I'm going to go back round and see if I can't entice one of these fish to the boat. I've uh, been fishing for about two hours now for only a couple of follows. It's been hard work. I've been slowly bouncing up the Normanton bank until I've got to fantasy, and fantasy was going to be my uh, last port of call, if you like, before I went back to 14 Boy, where I had the follows earlier on in the session. So, uh, 
no fish so far and strangely enough the banks are fairly packed so it's been difficult to get in close and drift out but I haven't seen anyone catch a fish it's it's absolutely bizarre really for uh, this early in the season but I've come all the way up to Fantasy only to find that it is absolutely full of bank anglers so I think I'm going to cut my losses get the drogue in and make the trip back down to Church Bay well, all the action I've had today has been in Church Bay and to the heavy sinking lines. So I've gone back to the DI-7 and I've um, done away with the competition length style flies and I've got a big black snake on now. Yes, that's what I've been reduced to. But I would like to get the blank off. Having blanked last week with Terry, I'm quite keen not to do it again here at Rutland. Well, it's been a long time coming, but certainly coming back to 14 boy was definitely the way to go. Uh, as soon as I got here, I had a follow, and this time I've managed to hook a fish. And it looks like a lovely fish at that. So, my season's finally off the mark. It's took a while, but here I am. Well, if I land it, of course, <laughs> it's still early days. Oh, it's a cracking brown trout. What a way to start your season. Finally off the mark. I was getting a little bit worried. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Uh, I haven't got long today. I want to be on the road really by three o'clock. So it's fantastic to have caught that fish. And what a beauty, what a great way to start. So what I did was what I should have done is persevered where I knew there was fish. I had a couple of follows when I first started. I tried changing my method and technique, it didn't work. The follows stopped. I decided to go exploring, but very difficult to get in at the banks up there. So what I've done is I've come back to where I had the action, persevered with a method, and it's paid dividends for me. Oh, another brownie. Wow, unbelievable. Well, the promised rain has started to arrive and uh, I think I'm only going to have another hour. I'm getting plenty of sport, but I'm just not hooking fish up. But a couple of really strong takes and I've had several follows. Great fun, but I'm going to like a few more fish. Apparently I've been fishing in the wrong part of the reservoir uh, most of the day. Uh, Al Owen, uh, who's a guide on here, he's out for opening day and he's been absolutely caring up here in the sailing club bay. Uh, they're only stockies but you know, it's still good fishing. Uh, I came in quite late, I've only got half an hour or so left and uh, immediately had three or four takes uh, on the big stuff. I've, I've gone down to a single fly, I'm going to have one more drift and then I'll be heading in to start the long journey. Well, that's the end of my day here at Rutland Water. You won't believe it, but it's only uh, just gone two o'clock in the afternoon. So I managed to get a four or five hour session out of the day, which is fairly good. And I'm really pleased that I caught a couple of nice brown trout. Now, as always with a water this size, you've got to be in the right location at the right time. And I certainly wasn't that today. So I fished mostly to the right, so out of the harbour to the right, which is Church Bay, and up the Normanton Bank. And I tried to squeeze in where I could to the bank, despite the number of bank anglers. And it was great to see the place so busy. But sadly, I didn't see a single bank angler's rod bend, which uh, is unusual for, for opening day. You know, I would expect um, the fish to be quite close into the bank, and the bankies to be making hay, while the boats try 
um, in vain to get as close as possible to the bank. But there was restrictions on the boats today due to the winds that we were going to get and we didn't do much exploring. So I tended to stick with the Normanton bank. All the fish were in East Creek and up through Sailing Club Bay. And luckily for me, uh, Al Owen came along just, uh, I had about half an hour's fishing time left and said, oh, you need to get over to East Creek and you'll get a bit of sport. And sure enough, I just left the snake on that I was fishing and I was getting a take every other cast. So certainly if you're coming, coming to Rutland soon, I'm not sure I would bother too much with a bank at the moment, but if you get a boat, go out, go left. Now, I didn't crack the code today, but if you watch this video, you might crack the code when you come to Rutland. I think you may also enjoy this video. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.